I see gentlemen that are going to change the narrative of their family. Rolls the pocket right, looking to throw, does so, end zone, it's up, and it's caught! Beliefs matter. Flames down eight. Before the age of nine. Little razzle, oh. dazzle here, they throw. You guys have formed an opinion. Henshaw, the catch. And a viewpoint. 20, 10, pylon. Of money. Anybody in here saying, hey, my life is going to look different than what my family's life has looked like. Stacy Rhodes is the executive director of the Center for Financial Literacy at Liberty University. If we're going to look out for our family and our future self, we have to know what we're playing with. And she's coaching up the Flames football team on the X's and O's of money management. Everything from budgeting to debt to credit to investing. So all of the confusing pieces around money. Yeah, it's like uh, going out for a game and not having a game plan, right? Nobody would do that. Even as talented as your players are, you can't just say, hey, good luck and just roll the ball out. You gotta have a plan for it. Have y'all heard of an emergency savings fund before? Yep, emergency is not for your emergency date or emergency sneaks or emergency. Our staff you know, got together and we wanted to do something that not only could impact them now, but hopefully set them up to impact them for a long term. How many of you guys have a credit card? We want to build a hook and we want to expose that maybe they do have questions or let them admit that they don't know everything they need to know about money. And so with that, we didn't want to overcomplicate things by throwing different acronyms or different ideas at them. We wanted to build on what coach is building. And we want to try to give them a really good foundation and understanding of all the different things that they need to know to have a chance to be really successful. More importantly, significantly impact the, their family and their future. The people who gave the money away were happier in the end. We are designed to have a generous spirit. We get to invite God into the conversation and then talk about the practical application of his principles and his word. Beliefs matter. What is your value system? You've got to practice generosity. It doesn't matter. You say, oh, I'll be generous in the future. It starts today. That practice starts today. And it doesn't even have to be money. It can just be helping somebody out, giving food, whatever. Having a generous spirit will play out in the end and come back a hundredfold. In the summer of 2021, the NCAA Board of Directors issued a new policy that allowed all NCAA Division I, II, and III student athletes to be compensated for their name, image, and likeness. While each university can oversee the initial process, the money earned is managed by the athlete. NIL was I don't want to say it's a catalyst behind it, but it's more the forefront. So you know that they're talking about it, whether they have money or not, they're talking about having money. So we want to make sure they have a plan for it when they have it, when they get it, what they do with it, so they can maintain it and grow it. Here's the deal. If you make more than $600 in, the, in an NIL contract, you have to pay taxes. Now that includes meals. Obviously it's, it's tough to talk about finance um, sometimes, but everyone goes through um, financial situation and it's okay for us to start thinking about it early. For me personally, um, it's kind of a gut check to see what you're doing with your money and there's a lot of decisions right now that I can make that's going to help me 10, 15, 20 years down the road. So putting those in place and starting that process now is very important for me. I think this shows where Coach Chadwell's priorities are at. A lot of coaches say they want to help equip you and prepare you for life. And I think this is proof that he's doing just that. Now in a mutual fund, you typically have about 300 of these companies in a bunch. I think it's okay. part of our job beyond just coaching them in on the practice field, on the game field, in the weight room, coaching them in life. And that's just powerful. And I think it continues to build culture and trust with them where when you pour into them, they're just gonna pour more back. Wait a minute, we got Terrell Owens lost 80 million following a string of bad decisions. They're putting their money where their mouth is. Yep, it'll bump it down. These okay. people are so gracious to come in and spend their mornings with us, give us their time and their wisdom. And I think the dividends they're gonna pay off from it are astronomical. Cool, we'll see you next week. Thank you guys. Thanks, two, one, two, five.